Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the carbon monoxide monitor that's in the 3M filter and regulator panels. The monitor itself is the same in all of the, all of the 3M panels, so the calibration process is going to be the same for each. 3M sells two different calibration kits. We sell a large kit and a small kit. Uh, the large kit has bottles that are 103 liters. The small kit, the bottles are 17 liters. So aside from being able to get more calibrations out of the larger kit, the difference really is in the regulator. The regulator that comes with the small kit does not have an on and off. So once the regulator is attached to the bottle, air is flowing. For the large kit, the regulator has an on and off. So you can help conserve calibration gas by turning the flow off when you don't need it. Okay, so for calibration frequency, uh, you're going to want to calibrate every two weeks when the monitor is new uh, for the first month. After that, you calibrate monthly. Unless you don't use the, the panel very often, then you're just going to calibrate the monitor prior to each use. So the calibration itself consists of two parts. You've got a zero gas, so uh, zero air. It's carbon monoxide free. It's actually a nitrogen gas. Um, and then a carbon monoxide uh, in the 3M kit is a 95 part per million carbon monoxide gas. And you're going to want to make sure that the calibration gas itself is not expired. You also want to make sure your carbon monoxide monitor has been warming up for at least five minutes. This will help the calibration go a little bit smoother. Uh, mine's been on for at least five minutes, so we'll get started. And I'm going to take the tube that comes from the compressed air off of the bottom of the monitor. Make sure my regulator is attached to my zero air. And then I'll attach my uh, zero air to the to the monitor. Turn my regulator on. So I've got the zero air flowing up to the monitor. Now the zero air, um, zero air is just that we want, a, we want it to uh, read zero on the monitor. So mine went up a little bit at first. It's coming back down. Uh, to zero is at three and two parts per million. If I need to adjust it, you'll use the small screwdriver that came with the calibration kit. And for the zero air, you would adjust the zero potentiometer either counterclockwise uh, to lower or clockwise to raise the, the reading on the screen. Mine is here at zero, so I'm, I'm good for that. I'm going to switch my regulator over to my bottle that has the 95 parts per million carbon monoxide. Now my alarm is set to go off at 10 parts per million, so when I start the flow of gas, I'm gonna, I want to make sure that my uh, alarm actually does go off at 10 parts per million. So I'll be able to hear the audible alarm, and then on the right side of the panel over here, I'll see my visual alarm, which is a red light, um, turn on at 10 parts per million. It should go up to approximately 95 parts per million, and if I need to adjust it, I will do the same by adjusting the span potentiometer. So there it goes. When it hit 10, I could I could hear and then see the see the red light, uh, alarm light on the side of the panel. And it goes up rather quickly. I'm already at 83 parts per million. And I'll adjust it if necessary. You just want to give it a little bit of time to make sure it's, uh, it's able to stabilize before you do any adjusting. I'm at 94 parts per million. I'm just going to adjust it by giving it just a slight turn. So it's at the 95 parts per million. Take my gas off, turn it off, reconnect it to my supply air system. Make sure that the flow of gas here is adjusted so that I'm in the center of the green rectangle. And I'm almost down to the low 10 parts per million, and my alarm turns off. And then I should see on the right side of the panel that I'm in normal operating state with green lights on. So my monitor is 
functioning properly, 